The year is 2016. The digital world buzzes with activity, with countless transactions and communications happening every second. Unaware of the storm brewing in its depths, the world continues its relentless march towards a more connected future. From the shadows, a new entity emerges, uh, the Shadow Brokers. Their presence is felt like a cold wind in the digital corridors. This enigmatic group bursts onto the scene, announcing their presence with a brazen act. The breach of the Equation Group, a feat that sends ripples through the cybersecurity community. This highly secretive unit, widely believed to be an arm of the National Security Agency, finds its clandestine operations laid bare for the world to see. The Shadow Brokers, with their cryptic messages and audacious claims, send shockwaves through the cybersecurity landscape, challenging the very foundations of digital security. Their arrival heralds a new era, one where even the most secure corners of the digital world are vulnerable to intrusion and exposure. The world watches, a mixture of fascination and trepidation in its gaze as the boundaries of cybersecurity are tested like never before. Who are these shadow brokers? Their identities remain shrouded in mystery, adding to the intrigue. What motivates them to delve into the digital fortresses of the world's most powerful intelligence agencies? Is it power, money, or something more ideological? Theories abound, each more intriguing than the last. Some suggest they are mercenaries, while others believe they are whistleblowers. Are they state-sponsored actors, pawns in a larger geopolitical game, manipulating global events from behind the scenes? Or are they digital vigilantes, driven by a desire to expose the secrets lurking beneath the surface of the digital world, seeking justice in their own way? The questions linger unanswered, adding to the mystique surrounding this enigmatic group. Their actions continue to captivate and confound, leaving the world to wonder what their next move will be. The Shadow Brokers didn't just stumble upon the NSA's secrets, they executed a meticulously planned digital heist. Their target, the Equation Group, a shadowy entity believed to operate under the NSA's umbrella. This group, shrouded in secrecy, is thought to be responsible for developing some of the world's most sophisticated cyber weapons. These tools, designed to infiltrate and disrupt enemy networks, are the crown jewels of the NSA's digital arsenal. The Shadow Broker's ability to breach the Equation Group's defenses sent shockwaves through the intelligence community. It was a stark reminder that no system, no matter how secure, is impervious to a determined and skilled attacker. The theft itself was a marvel of technical prowess, a testament to the group's capabilities. They navigated layers of security, bypassing firewalls and encryption protocols to gain access to the Equation Group's most prized possessions, its arsenal of cyber weapons. The Shadow Brokers, now in possession of the NSA's digital arsenal, made a decision that would have far-reaching consequences. They chose to reveal their spoils to the world. Among the leaked tools was Eternal Blue, an exploit so potent, so dangerous, that it would later become synonymous with global cyber chaos. Eternal Blue targeted a vulnerability in Microsoft Windows, allowing attackers to spread malware like wildfire across networks. But Eternal Blue was just one weapon in a vast arsenal exposed by the Shadow Brokers. The leaked tools included exploits for firewalls, code for compromising routers, and vulnerabilities targeting popular software. This treasure trove of cyber weapons, once the exclusive domain of a powerful intelligence agency, was now in the wild, accessible to anyone with the technical know-how to wield it. The Shadow Brokers, in a move that stunned the world, decided to auction off their stolen arsenal. They set up shop on the dark web, that hidden underbelly of the internet where anonymity reigns supreme. Here, Amidst the digital black markets and clandestine forums, they offered the NSA's cyber weapons to the highest bidder. The auction itself was a spectacle, a brazen display of audacity that captivated the attention of cybersecurity experts, intelligence agencies and cyber criminals alike. The implications of this auction were chilling. The thought of these powerful cyber weapons falling into the wrong hands, whether those of rogue states, terrorist organizations, or simply opportunistic cyber criminals, sent shivers down the spines of security professionals worldwide. The shadow brokers, it seemed, were playing a dangerous game, one with potentially catastrophic consequences for the digital world. Section 5. Wanna Cry When Cyber Weapons Run Wild in May 2017, the world got a taste of what happens when cyber weapons fall into the wrong hands. 
The WannaCry ransomware attack was a wake-up call for everyone. From individuals to large corporations and governments, the WannaCry ransomware attack, a global cyber onslaught of unprecedented scale, crippled systems across 150 countries. It spread rapidly, encrypting files and demanding ransom payments in Bitcoin. Hospitals were forced to turn away patients, businesses ground to a halt, and government agencies found themselves locked out of their own systems. The impact was immediate and devastating, affecting critical infrastructure and services. The culprit behind this digital chaos, Eternal Blue, the NSA developed exploit leaked by the shadow brokers. This exploit took advantage of vulnerabilities in Microsoft Windows, allowing the ransomware to spread like wildfire. The WannaCry attack served as a stark reminder of the indiscriminate nature of cyber weapons. These tools, once released, do not differentiate between their targets. Once unleashed, they cannot distinguish between friend or foe, civilian or military target. The consequences are far-reaching and often unpredictable. They spread like wildfire, exploiting vulnerabilities wherever they find them. The interconnected nature of our digital world means that a single exploit can have a domino effect, compromising systems globally. The attack highlighted the inherent danger in stockpiling such tools, as their existence, even in the most secure of digital vaults, poses a significant risk to global security. The lesson is clear, the potential for misuse is too great to ignore. Section 6. Unmasking the Shadows Theories and Speculation the shadow brokers, despite their very public actions, have managed to remain shrouded in mystery. Their true identities, their motivations, their goals, all remain subjects of intense speculation. Some experts believe they are state-sponsored actors, perhaps Russian intelligence operatives, seeking to sow discord and undermine the United States. Others theorize they are disgruntled NSA insiders, disillusioned with the agency's practices and driven to expose its secrets. Adding to the intrigue is the group's mastery of language. Their online communiques are peppered with grammatical errors and unconventional phrasing, leading some to believe it is a deliberate attempt to mislead investigators about their origins. The mystery surrounding the Shadow Brokers only adds to their legend, making them a source of endless fascination for cybersecurity experts and armchair analysts alike. Section 7. The Fallout. A Reckoning in Cybersecurity. The Shadow Brokers' actions triggered a reckoning in the world of cybersecurity. Governments and organizations worldwide were forced to confront a sobering reality. Their digital defenses, once thought impenetrable, were vulnerable to the sophisticated tools wielded by nation-state actors. The leaks exposed a world ill-prepared for the age of cyber warfare, where a single exploit could bring entire nations to their knees. The fallout from the Shadow Brokers' actions went beyond the immediate damage caused by the leaked exploits. The group's actions eroded trust in institutions, raised questions about the ethics of cyber espionage, and highlighted the delicate balance between national security and individual privacy in the digital age. Section 8. The Ethics of Cyber Warfare. A Moral Dilemma. The Shadow Brokers' actions ignited a debate about the ethics of cyber warfare. The development and stockpiling of cyber weapons, once the exclusive domain of shadowy intelligence agencies, was thrust into the public spotlight. Critics argued that such weapons, by their very nature, are indiscriminate and pose an unacceptable risk to global stability. The debate over cyber weapons mirrors, in many ways, the ethical dilemmas posed by nuclear weapons. Both are capable of inflicting widespread damage, both are difficult to control once unleashed, and both raise profound moral questions about the limits of warfare in the 21st century. Section 9. The Legacy of the Shadow Brokers. The Shadow Brokers may have faded back into the shadows, but their legacy continues to shape the digital landscape in profound ways. Their actions exposed the vulnerabilities of our interconnected world, forcing governments and organizations to rethink their approach to cybersecurity. The breach highlighted the fragility of even the most secure systems, prompting a global reassessment of digital defenses. The group's brazen theft of the NSA's tools served as a wake-up call, a stark reminder that no entity, no matter how powerful, is immune to the reach of determined cyber adversaries. This incident underscored the need for constant vigilance and innovation in cybersecurity measures. The Shadow Brokers' legacy is a complex one. Their actions have sparked debates and discussions across various sectors, 
from government agencies to private corporations about the ethics and implications of cyber activities. They are, depending on one's perspective, either villains who unleashed chaos upon the digital world or whistleblowers who exposed the dangers of unchecked cyber espionage. This duality makes their story both fascinating and controversial. Regardless of how they're judged, their actions have left an indelible mark on the world, forcing us to confront the challenges and consequences of cyber warfare in the 21st century. The impact of their revelations continues to influence policies and strategies worldwide. The game has changed and the rules are still being written. As we navigate this new digital frontier, the lessons from the Shadow Brokers saga remain ever relevant, reminding us of the ongoing battle between security and vulnerability.